Hey, it's a fabulous day in Cota de Casa. This is November. I'm by the 13th tee box near the snack shack of our South Golf Course. This guy here, this is a Toyon. Heteromelis arbutifolia, also known as a Christmas berry because of these little berries that ripen around Christmas time, also called a California holly. This is a member of the rose family. It's a rosaceae. It's a coastal sage plant. It's drought tolerant, and he thrives in our oak woodland habitat. Now it's native to Cota de Casa. It's found down to Baja and up to Oregon. Now this plant typically it grows six to 20 feet high. And here we have a smaller one. And over here we have an even smaller one. All right. So there's a lot of plants we have with these little red berries, but you know this is a toyon for a couple reasons. So first of all, it has these lanceolate shaped leaves that are very serrated on the edges. They're a bit glossy on top and on the bottom they're a little drab. Now they alternate up the stem. So you have one here, one here, one here, one here, and they kind of alternate to the end and you get these terrific red berries around November and December and the berries that kind of sets them apart from other berries of plants has a little star shape on the bottom. Did I pick this off? Okay, get a close look at that. It's got a little star shape on the bottom of this berry. Okay, now the berry's edible. It's better uh, when it's a little redder, but if you take a bite, it kind of tastes like an apple. Now don't eat the seeds, because the seeds have cyanide, just like an apple. And um, you know, eating enough of the seeds, uh, you could get poisoned. All right, so this little fruit is called a palm or a pome. And uh, as it ripens, the birds love it. The American robins, the cedar waxwings, the western bluebirds, and other birds, they love to eat this little fruit. Now, it will even ferment and get a little uh, ethanol or alcohol in there. And the cedar waxwings will eat these until they literally kind of get drunk. Okay? So the leaves... Uh, of this tree, they are toxic. They taste a little bitter since they're loaded with tannin. So the animals typically, they don't eat the plant, but they will eat the berries. So I mentioned these leaves contain a lot of tannin that makes it uh, toxic to animals and humans, except one animal who's a wood rat. And this is a wood rat den. And there's his uh, door here. He's got another door over there. And inside this den are a variety of rooms, and one's called a leaching room. So they'll collect these uh, leaves, and they'll store them in their leaching room, call it in there somewhere. And the tannins will leach out over a period of time and render them non-poisonous. Then the wood rats can eat them later. Maybe in wintertime. So that's kind of cool. Now here are the flowers of our Toyon. I mentioned this is a member of the Rosaceae family. So technically these are roses. And you see here, we've got five petals on this little flower. And little stamens sticking up. Alright. And you got some little tiny uh, buds here that are uh, ready to bloom. And these will die back, create these little berries over here. And eventually they'll turn a little more red and pretty soon very bright red by Christmas time. So we have lots of toy on all over our golf course. These guys here, they're flowering. And you get these berries, great red berries. Holy moly, wow. 
Now we're planting some toy on here on the 18th hole of our North Golf Course. Real simple, you get your five gallon bucket, you dig a hole in the ground, a little wider than the width of the container, not quite as deep. You plant your toy on, and then you make sure uh, you leave a little of uh, the top root here. You backfill it with your dirt. You leave a little rim here around the edge so it retains water until it gets started. And then um, it's free to go. And this puppy will just take right off. No problem. Now inside this little outtake of our second hole in the north course, we have a huge toy on bush or shrub. So here's his uh, split roots here. And you see he goes up. I don't know. He must go up 30 feet high. So he's in a real shaded area, so he's really thinned out. And to survive here, he's got to reach up as high as he can to get that sunlight, compete with these other trees and bushes we have. Yeah, you know, he's a little rustic uh, looking here. But he does have berries. See up here, we've got some berries. Now our plant here, we call it a California holly because the Europeans around the 1880s, when they're out here in Los Angeles, they called it a holly since the berries, they resemble the European holly under the genus Ilex. So there used to be a lot of this plant up in the Los Angeles, what we know today to be the Hollywood Hills. And it's Christmas holly is another name because the people up there in Hollywood, they would pick this plant during Christmas time for decorations. The stem and also the berries here. And now it became so popular that in the 1920s, Los Angeles passed an ordinance that said you can no longer cut these down on public property. Now another little bit of trivia, the town Hollywood gets its name from this plant. So this plant used to be all within the Hollywood Hills and um, of course they called it Holly, California Holly, so the residents of Hollywood named their little town Hollywood. How about that? Okay, so this plant, it's visited by butterflies, and uh, the birds eat the fruits, the coyotes eat the fruits, and the North Americans, the Native Americans, they relied on this fruit for lots of things. You can eat this raw, you can make it into jellies or jams, you can um, even brew or steep the leaves for tea, but you got to be careful because it's got a lot of tannin. And um, I mentioned you could uh, just eat these guys raw if you want to. Okay, so that's our toy on. Heteromelis, our beautifolia. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.